I just gotta go over everything, like what we need from the map, and like we have to like give certain things for to like artists, like you know skyline view and stuff like that, all that stuff. Wait, so do you have like the script pulled up or something? How you how you decide what we're, are we are we talking about all the points or are we just looking at Every, it? Yeah, we're talking about everything that we need to talk about. Oh, I, then I you need, need to talk have about. all the scripts open then? All the scripts? I don't have all the scripts. I have like the, all of the script? I don't care. Whoa. I have the um <clears throat> Uh, Fire truck go vroom. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, can't make. All right. Silence my phone. Silence. Right. I can't hear you. Yeah, I just finished the fire truck. Whoa. It's got a um. I still gotta write the controller script that controls the vehicle. But I've got the general movement of the ladder pretty much done. And I got, if you brought a player up to it, they could go to a drawer and open up the inventory. That's awesome. Nice. Once it finishes loading. I'm guessing the fire station is going to be over there somewhere, like near it. This Unity? Yeah. Yeah, you can rotate it left, right. Hold shift and it extends the ladder. What? Catch and make it. <laughs> That's cool. Let's make this go quicker. There we go. <sighs> and then it retracts yeah. back. All in code, no animation. <sighs> so if you wanted a smaller ladder, bigger ladder, we can just plop that right in there. Hey, like anything. As long as you know, like, how to code yeah. shit. That's crazy. Yep. Then we got uh -oh. that for real, just animating. Constantly. Yeah. Teach me to football? <laughs> what? Can you teach me to football? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we basically just have to go over, um, like, things we need for the Kickstarter. So, uh, I need, like, to figure out the name for this game. <laughs> I need, uh, some people like kind of help me with that, but I don't know. Like, I need to figure out the name. I need like a couple pictures from the game. I have some already, but like, I, if I had like more, uh, that's awesome. Uh, a whole new world. This is the, <laughs> what a billboard. billboard stuff. That's so sick. basically on your website, you upload an image, yeah, and this billboard checks your website for an image and it just converts it into a texture huh. so nice. how do you uh, yeah that's why i need dylan so like how will you uh do all that like we don't need to know that now that'll be that'll be information well, later that'll be uh it's just a script in here that just pulls an image off your web server oh. so it could be sirenova.com slash game slash ad uploads or whatever and then if I can make it just check a folder, and if you make the uh, directory visible, I can get the list of images, and we can display a random image every time a person comes into the game. Cha. Fire skates and stuff. That's cool. Uh, Coming to a theater near you, <laughs> Raptor of the Raptors of the Galaxy. What the fuck? I got bored of Friday night. <laughs> oh wait, does that say that? Yep. Oh, I can see that. Um, oh, you know, that's not the script. Okay. That's city hall. I am going to just pull up the second issue because the first issue is done. So, it's in the process I... of replacing the roads with a more HD texture. Yeah. So, more roads. So, uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> and you say something. something. Uh, at work, about like indie games and like what you kind of need on a. Uh, what the fuck is that? Um, 
what you need on like a Kickstarter for an indie game, and so, some people say you should have a demo. So would there be able to be like a demo that someone could do? Um, that some like that you would be able to like put out by April sixth. See, that would be. Wow, you gotta take him to lunch How many weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could just create the finish the fire truck, build the firehouse. Oh, that's one of the things. I need the layout for the firehouse that you said you had. Oh, wait, layout like where it's gonna be or like the inside? No, no, the internal inside of the building. Oh, the okay. Internal so, floor layout. okay, that's the one thing I have to build. It'll probably wait. be a two, two, two to three story firehouse if the, if uh, I don't know if that's limited already. But if, but if it's a major city, I'm assuming it'd be like a two story firehouse. Yeah. To Yeah, so I don't know, like, what you would want in a demo. Like, would it be like the first uh, quest that someone does? That, I would like... say it'd be the first fireman quest. Yeah, and you just uh, start get acquainted with controls, get in the fire truck, have an AI drive you down a street to the. Cycorp building. Yep. While it's on fire. <clears throat> is Cycorp then... built? Nope. Not yet. Yeah, I mean, we should I probably, have, we should probably design lion. that. I have yeah. the road in front of it. I have the uh, what do you want to call it? It's not the sidewalk, but you know, it's the concrete in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah just yeah. The, the uh, the entrance. Um, I just gotta texture yeah. the building. How tall is the building, or how many stories? It's like, I want to say like this one. Like four to five stories? One, probably about one, two, three, or four. each of those. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, Greg, we should uh, we should make up floor designs for those. Maybe we only need one really well designed for now, and the rest can be blank. No, okay. okay. Could you make it so you actually get out of the truck and then, like, you run inside to try to save somebody? or? Yeah. I can make it. I was actually thinking you'd get like a fire hose off the side of the truck, maybe extinguish a little bit of a fire, and then run inside once it's actually, a bit safer. It, it, yeah. Uh, in the story, so in the story, I don't, yeah, you haven't read it yet. So in the story, um, the main character is like the only one that's like seen that's like running into the fire because the building's like already like on its way coming down. But maybe you could actually. Like... Well, that doesn't matter. It's a demo. A demo. Uh, some demos to games aren't even what happened in the game. It's just showing you mechanics. Oh so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's a part of the game that would never exist. It's just a. Uh, this is good possible kind of proof of concept. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah, you'd um, have a way where he puts out the fires in the doorway and then runs into the building, and then the one floor that we design is the floor he runs into. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can like save somebody, um, or yeah. attempt to save them and then die, <laughs> or that. Uh -huh. I'll be like, "What? I died." Um, Game over. Um, Question mark. <laughs> yeah. So what I was thinking, I don't know if that's harder to do or not. So there would be like the so you design your character, however, like Sims way in a way. Well, for the and... demo, you can just have them be the fireman, like the base. Fireman. Oh no, I mean, I know that. I mean, like when the game is done. Well, this yeah, part. But, of the game is done. but we don't, we don't have to worry about that yet, though. We can worry about that later. Oh well, I have to like figure stuff out to say in the Kickstarter, so I have to like somehow word certain things. Like what? Like you'll or I just like say briefly, like oh, you'll be able to design your character. Yeah, and... that's fine. There you go. That's it. No, that's fine. Okay, yeah, you don't so... need to do the, uh, I'll let you know if you do if you go into too much detail, you're gonna back yourself into a corner because the amount of stuff we can get done with the amount that we raise from the fundraiser might not be everything that you're trying to get done. Yeah. So yeah. what you want to do is leave it basic. Like you will be able to A, design a character, B, explore the city, C, complete missions, right? Like those are super simple and we can get all of those done 
But to get into specifics, if we change our mind while it's getting designed, then you can then yeah. like you said you'll back yourself into a corner. You'd be stuck with what you promised. Yeah, and I wouldn't do that because like literally while he's designing it, he might do something and go, "Hey guys, I found this new little feature," and we're like, "Oh, actually, that's better than what we thought." And then we yeah. already said what was going to happen, mm -hmm. and now it's different. Literally, yeah, he, he actually uh, he messaged Scott messaged me like last week or two weeks ago or something, and he found like a cheaper design for like the casino and i like that better than like what the actual casino is connected he looks like so yes yep. cool. yeah i just saw that i'm like oh that's an interesting casino it's 15 yeah, it's like, bucks let's see if he likes it yeah <laughs> it's like way better and we'll actually be able to like go inside of it at some point but uh it'll be like probably just for looks in the beginning well um, later we can have uh sluts's face walk in there tyler yeah yeah uh because you know he's got a gambling problem um and then gets dragged out back and beaten <laughs> with a rubber hose. <laughs> so well, right um, now, he disappeared. Oh, I minimized it so I can open up a folder on my desktop. Or maybe I can put it on my second monitor. Oh, everybody's got two monitors, and I got this one over here. It's because you're weak, Greg. <laughs> Technically, I got three. <laughs> I'm actually going to start trying to build a computer, get help to build a computer. Just message Josh on Facebook, dude. He loves that shit. Like, it's, that's why I've told you, like, 16 times. Like, he could probably find you a way to build one that will do what you need it to do for as cheap as possible. Yeah. And, and it'll be fun. Yeah, because I, I don't need, like, Photoshop. I just need – um. I, I would like to be able to probably – help with the game in some way like i want to make my dlc type stuff we would have like a store on the game they'd be like oh you can like buy this stuff that you like affinity photo it's what affinity a f f i n no what, what no what is that it's just like photoshop but it's built oh. by somebody else oh it's oh. 99 dollars, and on the holidays it goes on sale for 50. What, what's that no for? subscription you buy it once, you own it. What, what what were you referencing that for, though? Oh, instead of, I was just offering a better program than uh, Photoshop. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. I, I, I discover it, and I actually like it better. Yeah, I, I believe I've heard of it before. Uh, I, I was more just, I, I I was just confused, like, what that was, because with, with the game, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think I've heard of that before, because I, I sent Greg, like, a list of... Uh yeah, like uh, GIMP. Adobe replacements. So anything from Photoshop to After Effects, there's software out there that's um, either open source and free or mm -hmm. cheap. Because like I, I have the Master Collection CS6, so I paid for it and I own just that. I don't have to pay monthly for that shit. Yeah, I got CS2 off eBay back in 2012. Yeah, in 2012. <laughs> in tw damn, in 2012. CS6 was released. So damn, CS2 was like 2004. Yep. Damn. <laughs> we were still in school. <laughs> um, I can't wait till I get to high school. Don't you ever say that. <laughs> Stay here. As long so, as you can. Hey, one so, uh, this one character in the second issue. He has, like, do you have some houses that are going to be, like, flats? Or are they all going to be, like, skyscrapers? It's the 3D houses. Let's go to an open area. I can show you the world. Is that a train track? Is that what that is? I believe so. I believe nice. it's the right side of uh, history. The Mohawk <laughs> bridge <laughs> in the book. <laughs> he's he's actually put putting in a train and a subway. Eat fresh. Oh, hey, look! It's Silva's house. Yeah, that's what I was about to talk about. <laughs> this is one. It actually looks creepily yet. looks just like the one that was drawn. Yeah, just, <laughs> nice. yeah, yeah. So, um, I some I people are gonna have like, yeah, some people are gonna have houses like that. Like, if you're oh in the God, city, I obviously. Houses. <laughs> oh. 
obviously if you're in the city you'll be in more like a loft type of apartment um or just like a shitty rundown apartment like what spider-man has like a toby mcguire spider-man it's a um, studio apartment <laughs> yeah although his although he has a pretty damn big apartment yeah in new york city it was russian or whatever landlord that's where we pay rent where's rent ow fuck my yeah. leg hurts so like the silver guy has a house that's kind of like that. It's his uncle's house that we determined it's going to be, and uh, he just like lives there. Yeah, he's a terrible human being. Um, and bus- behind his house is gonna be uh this guy, this like mad scientist dude that he's uh Harry, and Harry, yeah. Harry. that uh he <clears throat> makes breakfast for and stuff. So. It, it won't show that obviously because this game is like the background of our story but uh, just to have his like house like in there as like an easter egg type thing is cool i don't oh i don't know if we actually picked a street where his house was though you, you, <laughs> you no you did but you can you can just move that street outside the city oh yeah and then just swap whatever street in the city had that name with a different name. Yeah, because isn't it like kind of near the docks or something? His house? Yeah. Or wasn't it? Uh, no, well, no, that's irrelevant. It was just the fact that he was across the river because he he couldn't be in the city and have a house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, how many types of jobs would there be that people could, like, choose? Um, let's see. Why she did... Where did I put that? I, I came up with another one. It was a taxi cab driver. You can just drive around the city. Pick up <laughs> that's people. awesome. It just came to me. I'm like, damn, that's a that's easy awesome. one. Yeah, just turn them into an Uber driver. Yeah, yeah we we um, <laughs> I, I I'm coming up with this thing to make people like kind of create our universe at the same time. So like, I'll be doing that on like social media, and then people can actually like join in, like help. It's just a way to get people to engage with it, and uh, <clears throat> like whoever chooses like the winning brand whoever like wins the winning brand for a certain thing like we're gonna have like two different types of like soda companies like uh pepsi or coke but Mm -hmm. we'll have our own type of stuff like that um that will be on like a billboard somewhere like (laughs) (laughs) e-cola that's from uh what is it um gta yeah or uh yeah stuff like that so um those the people that are the ones that choose that brand the the one that like was like that come up with the name for it they become like the ceo of that it, it's just like a little fun thing that i'm coming up with uh but we're doing that with like clothing uh any anything basically that's a brand and uh it's just to like place certain things throughout the city in game <clears throat> um but yeah, if we came up with like an Uber type thing, that'd be kind of cool. For now, it could be taxi though. Cause that's yeah, yeah, that's work. fine. That that's pretty cool. I didn't even think of that as like a job. <clears throat> yep. It's and uh, <laughs> I don't know if we told you that, but like you're, well, I I don't want to say that. This is like technically gonna be a podcast. Never mind. I'm gonna say that. Let's get something about the driver in our comics, but <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah so there's firefighter you could be a cop uh for criminal like uh i have like so many ideas for that so it's like crazy so you could like criminal you could like jump you could technically like join like a motorcycle gang (laughs) <laughs> become, become CEO <laughs> of a corrupt company. I was thinking maybe you could, buy a uh, bunker just out of town. <laughs> yeah. Get a tank, maybe a military truck. Play golf. <laughs> I was not, I'm actually really good at golf on GTA. 
Um, I didn't even know there was golf on GTA. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I just came up with an idea, like, if you're a criminal, you can, like, choose, like, if you want to be part of, like, as a henchman for, like, Silva, like, later on in the game, or um, Bonker, he's, a, he's another villain. Like, any type of villain that has, like, a henchman, you could, like, choose to be one of the henchmen, so. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Nah, it's, like, later on in the game, but I, just, I just literally just came up with that when I'm thinking about, like, stuff. Um. But for our world map, because that we were just editing another comic the other day, and mm-hmm. one of the panels has a world map on the wall. So I have to make a world map, and trying to find a world map creator that's free uh, is really annoying. But I think I found one. Yeah, but, I'm sure. Yeah, but um, how do I share this? <clears throat> Um, so over here uh, obviously I'm going to change the names and stuff but like this is the map they gave me and uh, he could also do it in Photoshop or something but like he's busy with his business and well, not like that, but it would just take Stupid yeah. in Photoshop. There's no reason to. There's there's other map developers out there. Yeah. So um, I just saw that as like an idea. But like, if we first we could either do the continents like that we have in real world, and like morph it and transform them a little bit, like turn them. Like Africa would be like tilted or something. Uh, stuff like that. But, what I was saying we shouldn't we shouldn't just use the continents and tilt that's what i was saying before that's what i was saying to find a better map generator than that weird twisty one i'd rather yeah. have like completely unique um like land this. masses <laughs> yeah like that like how it's all yeah. messed up and stuff yeah because like we could still have like ice cap stuff on the whole yeah you could still have like a like, general world layout where there's continents and yeah but like I don't, I don't have that many cities and i'm not going to come up with like you don't need to fill the map with cities it's the world yeah. Billions yeah. of people in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> you just need to come up with the cities that we'll explore eventually, and as we come up with them, we can place them on the map. Yeah. So there'll be a. Yeah, I already told you the list earlier, but um, there's stuff like that. Uh, you said something about the moot. Uh, the movie theater. You would have to open like a separate tab or whatever. Oh yeah, because WebGL doesn't allow you to uh, render to textures inside of the web browser because the web browser only reserves like 256 megabytes of RAM in the graphics memory. And most movies are more than 256 megabytes. Yeah. Don't forget, you also need to load your game in there as well. So it's minus the... We just get like so high hyper just... compression yeah. and uh, <laughs> um, yeah. middle out. Middle <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> out. Just middle out. Um. So so the same thing for the ads thing goes for the gallery. I'm guessing you put like all the pictures in something and then yep. All you right. put your pictures where you want it, and it it'll be like a specific name. Like it might be. Like I have it right now, I think it's left wing, right side one, and then that would uh, load it right there. And if you want two, you just put two, and then you might be able to put a uh, underscore in the file name, and then you can have like a like A through D, and then that could be like an artist decision whether they want what type of frame they want around the. Uh-huh. That's cool. Tickets over there. Yeah, because I already have some people that gave me like art that I'm gonna add in. Like uh, Hector from New Leaf, he gave me a bunch of pictures. He's like, "Yeah, I painted this or did this or whatever." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether another option I have in here is whether or not the light is on or off. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's cool. (laughs) Some of them, some of them are off. The others are on. Um. 
There's like glass cases, like you could put like sculptures or something in there. I thought those are kind of cool. They're free. On the oh. system. <laughs> how do it's you how you. how would you put like a sculpture thing in there? Like, do I? You tell me what you want, or you provide me with the three D model. Oh. And I'll do my best. Yeah, I'm there for you. <laughs> Okay, I was like wondering, like about that. Um, the music go. thing, the, the would you be able to have like the radio? At least, yep. somewhat ready. All right, because yeah, I, that's I, pretty much fine. oh okay. Like, uh, I don't have the UI done, so you can't interact with it, but it pretty much takes care of itself. Let's see here. I think it's in here. Their frameworks. Just search radio. Not in this project. Maybe it's another one. Because I build everything in a test project and I import it into this one so it doesn't fuck it up. Because one time I imported a. Uh, What was it? I think it was a. Oh, I think I was trying to do something with the lighting, with the fog and whatnot. And the previous person that exported it included their project settings file, which overwrote mine. Oh. That was really annoying. Um, dialogue or like chatting? Like, how is that going to work in the game? I was thinking of creating. Oh, if you did voiceovers, you'd have to pay about. If you go on Fiverr, it's about ten bucks per line. Really? I mean, huh. some of the lesser nice sounding ones will will do like a paragraph. Yeah. But they're not gonna break it up into separate audio files for you. No, I I kind of do have a guy for voiceovers. I got a voiceover guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was thinking I of creating a dialog box in the style of a comic, kind of. Text box. Nice. Yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, then also, and then you can just say, "Listen, hey, listen." Or hey, listen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was just like wondering about that too. Uh, how It'd would you do like a cheaper? Yeah, yeah. And it take up a lot less file space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe like down the road we'll be able to have like voice yeah. stuff, but like the comic thing it sounds pretty cool. Um. How would you do like a gameplay trailer for the Kickstarter? Like, do we in a world where <laughs> <laughs> I just like make a voice, like a voiceover, like in a world where one firefight, or do we just like play the demo and like we have like just video footage of the demo and then I just like put music or something over it? Maybe you could have like a what do you call those? And obviously, I'll talk in at some point. Like a devlog. Like you can actually play it, and then while you're playing it, you can talk about it. What's gonna come? What oh. you can do? Oh yeah. Didn't didn't you, Bungie do that with the Halo Three? Halo Three. Well, we we can do both. We we can talk about the gameplay and just show the gameplay, and then we can just do a simple flyby of various buildings are like panning across them and yeah, then like, yeah. like play music over it. Yeah. That's cool. So what if like could you actually destroy a building if you like wanted to? In a quest. We could. Like say There's a... obviously like Psycorp like falls and just gets destroyed at some point. Um Yeah it's but... We could turn the build. We what what I would do is take the building as it is, turn it into like a cube, and then I would slice the cube and then have it crumble. The only issue with that is that you're not gonna be able to see the floors in the building. Oh, it's just gonna be uh like black lines. Huh. 
where the cube was cut and it's falling in. Oh. I, I, would yeah, probably, yeah. I would probably just replace, like, I don't know, because I don't think we need to, like, actually have the visual effect of the building falling down. We could probably just replace it with a broken version of the building. Yeah, yeah. That's mostly, uh... All right. Like, um, later on in the comic, there there's, like, part of a hotel that like the window gets like blown out by like a bomb or something like part of the building gets like blown up so later on because this would be update so like this game would be issues one and two of the seer chronicles so that's what it's going to be and then i since the second issue will be coming out around the same time as the game will be coming out because the kickstarter is uh starting april 6th and then working on it have at least part of it done uh, around the time that the Seer Chronicles issue two Kickstarter is either wrapping up and then it could like move motion into that. So, um, and then like the next update of the game would be uh, kind of like Rocket League, it never ends. So, I'd do something like that, but it would be another city like later on. But uh, okay. it's gonna be it's gonna be like the Seer, it's gonna be Seer City for like a while because there's like at, there'll be a few issues uh however many issues we have for the first story and then uh we start moving into another city and once we start moving into that city then uh that's when obviously we have to make a second city but well even for like scales we might want to have like an area of the city we don't necessarily need a whole city but oh yeah yeah, because then people could, like, choose to live in certain parts of the city, so you don't always, like, after there's mul multiple cities, we'll be able to, like, have, like, where do you want to live? And then, like, um, you'll be able to choose, like, Seer City, which, <laughs> it's a goblin, or uh, Silver Meadow, which I don't know why I wrote, didn't write that down, because that's, like, the second city that people are going to, like, discover in the comic. Um, is that where Scales is? That's where Cypher is. Well, that's not the second city then. The second city would be the city scale or uh, scale. So, uh, if you're going by a solo series, then it will be Boston. That would be the second city. Wait, is it is that where Ink is? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't I was like thinking, that. Down. I was thinking he was in your city. Yeah. So, uh, Brett is in your city. Uh, the main story happens to Seer City. Uh, Cyper is in Silver Meadow. Which is like Loudam ish, um, but more city like. And uh, well, what's the other one? And then the other character that I still have to come up with his actual name and full story, but that's later on. So, yeah. But you'll be in Sierra City for a while, so like all you have to basically be doing is like build out the city. And then at one point, you won't even have to build the city anymore because we'll start moving into the second city or whatever the next city <clears throat> more so because you only need like certain chunks like what dylan was saying you'll need like balston which will just need like the tattoo shop and uh wherever else he like his goes, house, just, like, <laughs> his house. <laughs> like just like little things um oh my god the walls are blue uh yeah it refreshed and this computer is kind of slow. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> um. What else do they want? Uh, so, how much is like a server and stuff? Like, because I, I I gotta figure this shit out. Yep. But you need that's some not, place. That's not our end to figure out. We just gotta look into yeah. server. Like, well, how is that going to all work? So it's going to be, like, integrated with our he's website? He's literally going to be up. He's going to probably just up upload this to a server. We just have to find a server. Oh. Yep. It needs so, to have direct file linking. Needs direct file linking. You know how when you copy a Google share link, it's, like, encoded? Yeah. And there's no file extension? You need mm -hmm. a service that provides the direct link. So I can program that into the game, and the game knows where to go to download the 3D world or worlds. Yeah, yeah. Later on, it'll be like 
multiple worlds, but it's like super far mm-hmm. into the future. Um, uh, so how is it like integrated on our website? Like, is it going to be you click on a certain page and then like you're in the game, like the start yep. screen or something? Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's basically uh, it's like a it's like an old school flash game. Yeah, huh. that's awesome. So, uh, so he'll be able, Dylan will be able to do like the side of like coding it. So like only the enhanced members on our website would be able to get into it, right? Yeah, yeah. that's that's simple. Yeah, there's uh, scenes main menu. Don't save. Once it loads, you've already got your account settings, main menu. If you click these, it opens up a web browser. But because I'm streaming the uh, Unity player directly, it's just going to open up in my browser on the first monitor. I don't even know if this even works. Oh, it does. Bring it to the gallery. <laughs> That's awesome. So, loading screen works. I shall do it again. That was kind of quick. But yeah, the main menu works. The loading screen works. I so have people are going to... For the username and login box. Yeah. So, um, obviously, once, like, apartments are... Uh available to like be used would people be able to um start in their apartment or is that like a huge code type thing you could oh okay i was thinking of creating like stock apartment building floor plans oh like in gta there's like three different types of apartments and you just yeah gotta except we have yeah. more and then what I was yeah. thinking of is we'd use that basic scene file, and then I'd have like a furniture layout file. So the furniture that they get in place, however they want, is saved. So this way, instead of storing an entire scene, which could be, let's see. And you talked about, and, explore. <clears throat> and you talked about like a week ago or something about like, a stretch goal or something would probably be like that furniture pack, which is like a thousand dollars or something. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, I think it's two thousand dollars. And on the holidays it's on sale for a thousand, I believe. Too bad I'm doing this in spring. (laughs) Yeah. Well we can always wait. My birthday is a national holiday. We can There you go. (laughs) Hold my birthday is right (laughs) birthday is like right before, but Yeah, the scene files for your, just this menu is like seven megabytes, but a text file could be fifteen kilobytes. So if you use the uh, layout idea, you'd have one scene seven megabytes times however many people you have with apartments. Yeah, must have be a lot quicker to download. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's Saves like a down. Data. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, like don't you have to pay like every single time there's uh, Yeah, it, it depends on the web host and it depends on what specifically your web host is set up to do. Oh, okay. Because they could charge you per connection, they could charge you per download, or they could charge you per gigabyte downloaded. Hmm. So what I was thinking is anyone that backs the Kickstarter, so that's like, like you would get the game because backs the Kickstarter gets um since the enhanced version is like ten ninety nine on our website, uh, that's how much it would it would be like eleven dollars or whatever it is uh on Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we, well, the, the enhanced one though, I don't think gave access to the game. That's the ultimate, which we haven't put a price on yet. I thought the enhanced was going to be the game, and then the ultimate was going to be that like other thing, like we link with other. Oh, people. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, because people would be like, "What? It's like ten dollars for a game," and then it's like a badass game, and not like just like a little platformer. <laughs> Speaking of other games, um, 
so the one of our partners uh people creator that is on our website new leaf they actually make games and they have one game that's on a uh, google play right now google play, play okay. store uh but they're looking to make like a shit ton of games and dylan came up with the idea of like an arcade if we could have like an arcade in the city oh, like a um yeah that's a decent idea yeah. i was thinking of making a personally myself i was thinking of either making like a website or an application kind of like steam but it's yeah. only for indie games yeah wow, that's, yeah. wow. That, that's like a whole <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> yeah because um probably like later on in the future besides this game i would probably make another ga- game or two when i like learn how to do that but like until then yeah, I, yeah. This is websites like uh simmer.io or itch.io and those host unity web geo games but i believe they have a limit of two gigabytes this is probably way more than that <laughs> probably after you're done probably <laughs> just taking churches out well yeah yeah like we're gonna do it's like a portal type thing to get into another world so uh yeah and like so we're like connecting it with other people that want to so like new leafs like they have a different like art type of a style so like even if his like character was to somehow come into our world in the comics and like if like we somehow have main characters in the game you would like obviously notice that his character looks a little different than our design Mm -hmm. but um Unless so like, yeah. Have you ever watched the the anime Sword Art Online? Uh, yes. I, yeah, yeah. And you know the ending of the series. I, oh, I didn't. No, I didn't. No. I, I, I only saw like the beginning of that. No my girlfriend. Uh, from the podcast. Yeah, my girlfriend was like, "Oh, you should watch this." And then we were like watching Sword Art Online. But yeah, there's a guy at work that like talked about that. I haven't finished it. Because uh, there's Never a guy really. at work. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a guy at work that um talks a lot about. I, I mentioned that I'm making a video game like with your help and everything and then he's like oh uh Sunday or Monday he's like oh you know what you should do is like full dive and I'm like what and it's like virtual reality and all of that yeah. and I'm like well Dylan knows a guy that wants to get into all of that but that's a lot of money and he's like well not really I'm like, <laughs> I'm like do you have the money to pay for that yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah. then there's like another thing that we're planning on doing with this game because uh, we want to make a cookie, uh, cookie cutter version, which also brings in uh, new worlds. Um, and so Dylan's idea is to package this and not just a game, like package. Uh, like a prefab? Yeah. Like, so you would package like a city and like, oh, you could build a city and then you'll have like your own city or world. Um, your own like the website that we have but just for them like their comics and uh, whatever so, else they want yeah, so yeah. It, we're trying to make like a whole the city thing. the engine the frameworks that support it the scripts that make it happen you just import your 3d content yeah pretty much yeah, yeah. so and uh then there's another comic book uh company that's on our platform uh upward slash and they are making like sprite type games they actually like shared a picture like with me recently and it looks awesome but um he wants he, he was thinking of adding like that game he said like we can actually add like one of his games he already made or something like in that like arcade type thing that we would have so there's a lot more than just our story and stuff going on in our game like people are going to be able to do like a shit ton of stuff and it's just like mm-hmm. yeah but taxi driver thing would be pretty cool uh firefighter cop <sighs> uh there's another job that i was thinking of that's um like a news reporter not like a news reporter oh like a journalist yeah like that yeah i don't know what tasks they would have to deal with but uh something like that <clears throat> interesting if you went to the office yeah talk to the 
who's the boss at a journalist? It's like a editor in chief or something. Editor in chief or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, Have him give you a task. Be like, yeah, go to this location. Give me Spider Man. Okay. <laughs> I want pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> um yeah so like because we have a newspaper type thing in our comics and there's like a main one of the main characters like works there and she tries to dig up dirt on a specific thing happens in our story and uh she wouldn't be in the game but like you would be like one of the people like either helping her or someone else but yeah that's just like another idea for like another job task type thing people can do. And then when you don't want to like actually do that, uh, you can just like roam around. But I don't want like mindless killing like in GTA. It's like the only thing I don't want. Is there be only would there only be a way to like so if you're a criminal, um. Go to jail, go directly to jail, and not pass the line and collect two hundred dollars. That'd be cool. Wait, oh, I think we did. Did we say that we were gonna actually have the jail like added? I don't remember that. A like or the or just a police station. I forgot. Dedicated prison like building or a jail room in the police building. Uh, shit, like just a probably a cell or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I already yeah. got cells. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like um, they're just no gray bars. Yeah, good, some, like uh, uh, and thing. like, how would someone like die or something in the game? That's like the only thing. Like, if you're because there's no mindless killing. There, there's like maybe if you're a firefighter and you get burned alive, okay, and a cop you get shot, but like journalists can't get shot. <laughs> Like, unless if someone just runs up and shoots them in the face. So, like, how is it fishing? Falls into a sewer. Oh staring at this guy at, at uh, Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I like, is there a way for people to just, like, not die? Yeah. Because that, that'd be, like, weird. They don't die unless the function to, for die is called. Oh, okay. Because, like, waste. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And uh, we have to still come up with like a currency, so that's like another thing with that creating universe thing that I'm looking to do. Like someone could come up with like the name of the money that we use. Oh, ready? Yeah, and then we can just we'll have call like a, it. You want to use dollars. the dollar symbol? <laughs> uh, it, it might still. I don't. Know. Uh, it's probably more money if you have to like actually make the logo for whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. For what uh, money? Yeah. We could just make that. Yeah, it's just like a. I like. Uh, I like Bali. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's all that. I don't know what else? What else do you need for a Kickstarter? Server. Copy shop. What? 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 Ah. Uh, we have to come up with a uh, like uh reward Zero tiers. Zero Zero so we would need like uh reward tiers like um so obviously there's the game you get uh just a thank you um just a thank you yeah like a dollar yeah. or something oh, you know like hey thanks like, like <laughs> thanks <laughs> um because for video games i found out that if you do a lot of physical stuff then it would like hurt you in the end so like that they yeah, as, as much digital as you can do like try to just do digital stuff so because you're already paying like a shit ton of money for the game so on mm -hmm. top of paying for the game and then because i'm finally sending out my our kickstarter stuff and all that stuff's like sitting by the wall over there like just waiting for me to <laughs> finally do it um and yep. the shipping supplies and all that like adds up so uh we would need like reward tiers for that but I just need like a few more pictures and then I need like the some of the videos that you sent me I can't like use because it's like FLV like flash video or whatever it is. I think that's oh, it. Yeah, I was using a uh, open broadcaster. Yeah, so like I uh, when I was trying to like use just that video. Video converter, Greg. Oh, 
Okay. For I, shame, was, Greg. For shame. I, was, I, I couldn't think mm -hmm. of. Was Be resourceful, of. Greg. <laughs> Google. Um, I got, wait, I, yeah, one second. There's a site you can go to to find all this information. It's G O uh, O uh, G L E. Uh, Google. Um, do you have like the driving controls and everything, or is it just like the computer doing it for you? In the there are controls. That was for that first uh, job. I was going to have like an AI drive you there. Yeah. You're just going to look. This way you can just look out at the city. Admire yeah. its beauty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you have, did, did you start the subway yet or no? I did. It's on my other computer. Oh. On your other computer? How many my computers? My other one in the basement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one that keeps being flooded on and whatnot. Oh. oh my god. Don't buy if you get a computer case, don't get ones with the holes in the top. Okay. Yeah, you spill water on it, go bye bye. Because uh oh, you think, oh, it's got holes in the top. That's gonna let more heat out, but really in my tests, it's only like three degrees maybe benefit. And I've never had any water fall down on my computers except until I bought that one. <clears throat> that sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, I want to build a computer, but uh, I'm, I don't have a monitor, so I was going to use just my TV in my living room as my monitor. Can you buy like super long HDMI cables, or is there like a certain yeah. length? You can okay. buy a super long one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I might like connect it from like my TV's over there, like. Uh, behind the laptop at the wall and I would like connect to the TV and go like up the wall and then where my like YouTube setup that I'm having it would go like all the way over there or something oh well, not really I don't really need that I could just put the tower right there but I don't know I just need like a wireless mouse or something I'm stupid anyway so yep. yeah so just don't get holes in a computer yeah don't get holes oh you want holes in the front and back just not the top Super graphic, a visual guy. What is that? Look at it. It's cool. Um, what other reward tier? Oh, so the furniture thing would probably be like a reward that could be a tier. stretch goal. Oh, that could be a stretch goal. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I watch a lot of YouTube at work, so <laughs> there, there's like uh the gaming thing that I watch that uh for indie games and it's like don't announce your stretch goals which is weird like don't do it ahead of time which uh, I right. didn't do yeah so like uh you, you had to come up talk about it in this podcast <laughs> three, <laughs> yeah. three different times <laughs> yeah um but I'm just trying to come up with like reward tiers in general because like you don't need that many for a video game you need like three Oh, well, here's, here's the thing too, though, is because we have our comic book company, we don't need to have all the rewards be game related. Yeah, it could be like comics. So, yeah, yeah. or it's, you could like you could send them a comic. Yeah, which I'll, I'll just send it to as seen on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. What else? What if you can give them a different tier for, uh, like, you buy the, so you you have the tier with the game on it, but if they pay a bit more, they get, like, um, maybe they pay for, like, a five months in advance of uh, your comic subscription, and they get, like, oh, a month sure. free. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Well, well the, the, what he's talking about with tiers is the Kickstarter, though. Like the tiers for for the website are just our gen our website access, which gives them the comic books, and it will give them the game. And then um, we have another tier system that we're working on that might connect us with a bunch of other businesses. But yeah, essentially, the 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 tier system he's talking about for Kickstarter is like if you donate a dollar, if you donate 
twenty dollars just for the Kickstarter, what would you get? Yeah. So okay, so the backers back the Kickstarter. So like do are they gonna get like a link to that game? It's so like free like free access, but they already paid for it, so obviously I'm not gonna like just Well they'd get the link to your the demo. To the demo. Okay. Yeah. But like Okay. Uh, so technically ten dollars pays for the demo. Sure. And then Oh. I was thinking like demo was free maybe, and then like. Oh well, no! A ten dollar donation would get you access to the demo. Oh okay. Oh, okay, so that's that's fine. Because I was wondering like if they backed it, then they would get like the first month free, like when it's actually on our website. So that all they have to do is like sign in and then. No, because you know, the code. servers are probably going to cost a decent amount of money. I I would say that instead. Um. We just give them access to the demo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah, I wouldn't make that more complicated. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, uh, the restaurant, Bochetti's, which is where Johnny's is in Schenectady, like where it's actually, uh, we designed it in a way. I, it does not, I already designed it inside of it. Um, you did. I gotta look at that. Still, did you send that to me? I don't. I, it's in the drive, but I don't know if I. Okay. Sent it to your... Yeah, I'll. Through, I just want to review it before we start getting it designed to make sure it won't cause any issues. Yeah, but like, uh, Dylan goes in like <laughs> super detail, like, oh, like when uh the piece of shit character gets like thrown out to like the back of the restaurant, like, is there like a, is it higher? Is like the dock part oh, higher? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so like we went in that much detail because uh, we we want to use parts from the game. So like we need like a skyline. It's, like that's why it would be pretty cool. Like if the Kickstarter uh, thumbnail, I don't know why I did that for thumbnail. Um, is a like laser, a <laughs> laser beam. Uh, if we use beam, <laughs> Scotty, don't um. If we use like a skyline, can you get like a picture of the skyline for the city? The skyline's just yeah. gonna be a snapshot if there's a bunch of skyscrapers built. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like if you can get that, I, I could use that as like a thumbnail. You should change the thumbnail for Kickstarter like more than once. I didn't do that last time. It still worked, obviously. But mm -hmm. uh Milky Obviously champion. <laughs> But uh, Milky changed it like a few times. So he had like one, like was a monster and like the milkman. Uh, then there he used uh some old lady, which I'm guessing is probably his grandma or something. Uh, he used that as another thumbnail. So you just use like different pieces of from the game or the comic or whatever as like a thumbnail. That way, yeah, uh, we have like the character in front of the firehouse. We could have a snapshot of the skyline. We could have a snapshot of city hall. And yeah. Something. And so uh, I need, I, I like. So, I, so what I would say is that minus the textures of the buildings, we would, we would need the majority of like the skyscrapers in the, in downtown, in the downtown area built up. Yeah. All right. so, so even if they have no texture, because essentially all we would need for the art artistic side of it is, um, the silhouette almost of it like we, right. would, we, we would want a picture yeah like we'd want a picture of the 3d thing so we get the perspective but we don't need the the texture on the building all right because if anything we can we can leave that up to our artists so that um we give them the skyline and then they can decide what the buildings look like and then whatever they do we can send that um texture to you or mm -hmm. if like or if like say they do one that's brick we do one that's stone. We can be like, hey, can you put a stone or a brick or a whatever texture on the outsides of these buildings? Mm -hmm. And that, and that way, like, because because I like I, I'm assuming that it, it's a bit complicated for you to try to build up our whole city and like just guess what all these are. But for the artist that has to draw it, if they have a skyline designed and all they're doing is drawing the textures to the building, that'll save that'll the skyline silhouette will save them 
uh, hassle and it'll make it match what our map will ultimately look like. And whatever texture they do will will should be save you time from having to decide what textures they should look like. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's... But like certain like certain things will be like uh, like the restaurant, like the the inside of the restaurant will need laid out a specific way as as the same as the front of the restaurant. So if if you can find um, a restaurant front that looks good, we might just use that instead of trying to have a custom one designed. You know what I mean? All right. So I would say that the things that we would need for the second comic, we, you already that house that you have looks looks good for um, Silva. for Silva, so that's fine. I'm trying I'm trying to like say stuff without spoiling any part of the plot as well. Because we have yeah, we upload this for the podcast, uh, I would say we need a restaurant front. We need um, uh, what the hell is it? We need a um, a, a uh, what the hell is it called? A, sh a shipping container dock. You know what dock. I mean? Uh, yeah, the dock. It, it, yep. Yeah, like a dock with a bunch of those big shipping containers on it. Do you, Do you know where the docks are going to be? Did I tell you where they were going to be? I believe by the to the right of the casino. Yeah, so it's farther so down the river. road. Yeah, down the, down the river from the casino, past yeah. the park. Yeah, so apparently there's a park, which I have drove by there I don't know how many times. <laughs> I've never seen a park until we looked at Google Maps. Uh, it's like I've Aqueduct Park. park yeah, it's called Aqueduct Park. But we named it something different. It's actually, uh, pretty big too. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe that's where the junkyard is, and like it overtook the park. I don't remember, but uh, it's crazy that I drove by that. Oh, so many we're, times. we're replacing the end of the park with the dock, right? That's kind of what we're doing. Uh, the yeah, technically the east east end of the park. I think the against park is down. against the south side of the river. Actually, I think the park is closer to the boathouse that he goes to. Oh, 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 sorry. Wait, the boathouse is on the end. the The docks are on the west side. Yeah, because yeah. the the docks are. You know where Maxon Road extension is. Yep. Okay, so you know that like gravel area that's near the train tracks, but a little farther down. So Actually, I think it's the before the train tracks. tracks. Yeah, it might have to be moved a little. Well, either way, one second, because we're just going through the areas. We so we need a restaurant front. We need the docks. We already have Silva's place. We would need um, uh, all this stuff happens in the restaurant. Oh, and then we need um, the testing facility. Uh, we don't need to describe too much about that. I'll just say the testing facility for John. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll we'll describe more off air in a minute, but uh, all right. Um, but yeah, we'll need so we'll need what was that, the restaurant, the shipping containers. We already have Silva's house. We need the testing facility. Was there any flashback in this one? Yeah, yeah. the first like a long time history. flashback. It's just the inside of Psychor. For what? Ryan Potts is looking at the window. That's it. What? No, that's from the first comic. What are you talking about? The game is issue one and two. Oh, no, 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 but that's, but remember, the parts that we're talking about now are the stuff that we need for the comic book. Oh, yeah, okay. Because the stuff for the game, the stuff for the game is a whole nother conversation we're going to have to have. We just need the stuff for the comic book for now so that oh, we yeah, yeah. can start working. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Don't, yeah, don't overcomplicate it now because it'll, <laughs> like I said, that's, that's, that's a whole nother conversation about what mm. stuff will be for the first comic. Yeah, cat. but I, th um, I think that's all the locations. We need the docks. We need the road by the docks, which that's all part of the docks. That's fine. Uh, so we need the docks. We need the training facility. We need the restaurant. I need really have this open. I'm just running through the story in my head. You need Silva's house. You need his neighbor, which is behind him. It's like there's like uh, you go out his uh, back, the backyard, uh, back door in the kitchen. And then there's a patio, and then there's a fence, and then he goes through the fence, and then there's the house, which is right behind, and he goes into that house. You don't really yeah. need the inside of that house because people aren't. Oh, go we need the basement, it. but that's yeah, the basement. But um, yeah, so we're gonna need, we will need that house design. We need both houses internally designed. 
Oh, yeah, never mind. Uh, okay. We have the layouts for them. We gotta we gotta finish them up, but all right, so all right, so let's rewind. So <laughs> we, we need we need the inside and outside of the restaurant. We need the inside of Silva's place. We need the inside of Harry's place. Just the kitchen and the basement. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> we need the inside of the training facility because we don't see the outside. The outside is... We don't oh. see the outside. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, wait, what? And then... Oh, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> What was the other one again? Oh, and then the docks. And the docks is all outside anyway. There's no the training, the training facility thing we already have made too. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, again. I'm just running through so we have so. Yeah. God knows what we're gonna yeah. need. So so we in so we need so all right. So now now I think I have everything. So we need <laughs> we have. I know, I, just, I know. I keep repeating it, but now I just want to. Now I have every, the whole story we had. So we need. Silva's house in and the other house and their reference to each other, like their location, right? So that's one thing we need. We need the inside of Silva's house and we need the inside of Harry's house, right? So those, so we have the two buildings and their location based on each other. We need the insides of those buildings. Then we need the training facility inside only. We need the restaurant, the buildings adjacent to the restaurant, inside the restaurant the back of the restaurant and the alleyway of the of that restaurant so technically we'll need we'll need the restaurant the buildings on the sides of the restaurant the buildings behind the restaurant potentially the buildings in front of the restaurant i'd have to think about the panels on that oh. um, then we would need the docks and all of the buildings around the docks all right. It's just yeah. like shipping containers and stuff at the docks, and then oh well, yeah, the, the dock, street, yeah, like yeah, either like house or two, but yeah, or skyscraper or apartment buildings, probably not houses. Yeah, um, we're, in, we're in a city, Greg, and I'm picturing a bridge near the docks as well, or something like that. But you know, yeah, but that's roughly what we'll need. And there's a tr there's train tracks that are not that far away from. Yeah, but those aren't those aren't seen at any point. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, we'll there. need. Well, I guess you don't really need to design this part. We can get this from the artist. We'll, we'll need the park, uh, part of the park, but really uh, that doesn't matter because it's going to be at night for that. So it, it can just be, you know, shrubs and shit. So I don't think that'll be. You got it. And then we'll need twenty million dollars. Cash. Virtual money. <laughs> virtual money. No, un unmarked <laughs> U.S. dollars. <laughs> Um, those are our demands. Um, yeah. Uh, the movie theater is technically across the street from the restaurant, so. It, yeah, but again, this, this we're only talking about. The I know. I, I'm for the game. If 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 the if we I have to I have to I have to go through the script a little more detail, and when we talk to the artist, I have to ask if he will do a view from that point. Oh shit! We also damn it. We we also need. There's there's one other scene we need. It's um where he goes to play poker that alleyway. So we have to decide where that is. That's you and me got to do that. And then then it's basically going to be like a almost abandoned looking building. So you need the adjacent buildings, and then the ones across it from it. Because remember, it's going to be down an alley, and it shows both angles looking outside and inside. So we'll need the 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 poker place inside and front of the building. Adjacent buildings and opposite building. I, uh, I don't know if you built over there yet. <laughs> Do you know where Little Italy is in Schenectady? Mm, no. Okay, so on Union Street. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're gonna need to build over there anyway because of the training facility. Um, on Union Street, there's uh, this like nice looking arch or whatever that's black uh if you go through there there's this place called the sawmill <laughs> it's a biker bar uh uh a little closer to uh union street there's parekas 
actually, I could have just said, do you know where Parecas is? Um, next to Parecas is this really nice Italian restaurant. It's amazing. I forgot what it's called, though. And then across from that, um, there's, like, a abandoned building type thing. So, like, we could do it, like, in an alleyway over there. Do you know where the costumer is? Probably not. Um, oh. <laughs> I want to say. Actually, I'm trying to think of something that you yeah. might know where it is. You know where Union, yeah, Union Inn is. Uh, let's say, uh, fuck's that place called? Center Street, Center Street Pub. You know where that is? Okay. All right. Well, uh, across from that are a bunch of buildings. Go down the street a tiny bit more towards the right like towards Union College and there's that little Italy area and the little I- Italy area is where um that little alleyway could be for that like sketchy like underground gambling thing gonna happen that Silver goes to we'll we'll oh, obviously right. we'll we'll pick it out like uh and then we'll tell you about it but yep. it's just a steel door and then he's he's like up at the steel door with like a little slot in the door so that's ready. And then inside of there, it's just like dim lit room with like a table or two. So that's it. Okay, that's basically it. Huh? Yep. Uh, we'll we'll cut the like uh podcast stream thing, and then we'll talk about things that we'll actually. Can't talk about it now after. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.